Ah, yes. Slamming into a large crate at breakneck speed and clutching onto iron-clad cargo netting aboard a packed crate parachuting thousands of miles above ground. We do it every Sunday before a picnic, or right before the UFC main event starts. However, in this case, there's a little bit of a problem. See that spew of wreckage and insurmountable level of fire and smoke? Well, that's a plane, and we just crashed the fucking thing. Welcome, one and all, to the Dark Let's Play Fun Time of the Dark Podcast 2011 Game of the Year, Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. Since this is our first foray into the world of the walkthrough, we decided to test a short sequence rather than commit to a full-fledged series if you guys wouldn't respond to it or find it to be handy. I'm Rage Leopard, and yes, I get the irony of an Xbox 360 avatar popping up in a prized PS3 exclusive game. But I don't care, it's the walkthrough that counts, and if you guys like what you see from this brief chapter, sound off in the comments and we'll make it into a full series if that's what you guys want. So to set up the situation, Nathan Drake has just snuck himself aboard a cargo plane taking off from Yemen by way of grabbing onto the landing gear and finding himself in the lower cabin ventilation system. The cargo plane is operating under the order of main villainess Catherine Marlowe and carrying necessary supplies for her evil plans to uncover the Atlantis of the Sands, which is located in the middle of the desert, but fuck knows where. And it's here where we and Nathan find ourselves caught in the middle of it all with a hell-bent desire to put our foot up their collective ass. Now to start off with, we'll check the time and then we'll make our way through the vent. Peanut butter jelly time! Get fucked. Here we have the style of going smooth like Solid Snake, where we'll get to climb through the vent and begin sliding our way through. As we get a bit further up, we're spotted by a henchman who just happens to be 7 feet tall. He rips the hatch open, picks us up, and slams us against the wall where a minor struggle will occur. Now we can't do anything here except wait for him to open the back platform, throw a couple of punches, get knocked the fuck out by our own pistol which we didn't think to use when he was holding us up against the wall, and finally get thrown onto the platform. You can be flexible here as to how far you want to move away from him, but make sure it's not right near the edge, as this bastard can get back up very quickly after you knock him out on higher difficulties. The thing to do here is engage in movie mayhem fisticuffs, making sure you throw your punches with a square button and timing your counters with triangle and breakaways with circle effectively so as to avoid being killed. <coughs> Once you've knocked out the Hulk, he'll be in knockout cooldown giving you a chance to make your way up to the left side of the cargo truck and frantically tap triangle to engage the rear parachute which will knock his hugeness off to his long fall of a death. Now, we find ourselves in a bit of a predicament here as we see a mountain of heavy crap surging towards us uncontrollably. There's three things we can do here. A. Ask it not to fall out of the plane very politely. B. Resist and dodge our way up to go through the plane. Or C, enjoy the show. Lock in C, Eddie. No, no, no! Fuck! Ah, oh, should've gone with A. Okie doke. Now that we're literally hanging by a thread of cargo netting for dear life, we'll begin making our precarious climb back up the truck. After a moment or two, a random dickhead henchman will for some odd reason jump away from safety and hang onto the netting a bit further above just to try and get a better shot at us from on high. Come on, dude, really? I mean, what, you couldn't wait five seconds? You'd rather get killed now? Okay. Later, fuckstick. Now we've got ourselves in our micro, we'll begin to get back up to the ramp platform and off the truck and begin our assault to the cockpit. Quickly take out the two henchmen on either side of the platform and aim for their heads for a quick kill as a bevy of henchmen will begin shooting at you from further inside the fuselage. Quickly take cover behind the nearest left crate, but be mindful of where you hide as this cover will begin moving side to side as the plane begins rocking about in what I'm pretty sure is a subtle attempt to knock us off it. The best tactic here is to take out the two henchmen on the right side between the two crates, and then take out the one on the left side unless the crate takes him out first. Once all the henchmen are gone, the best thing to do is hug this piece of cover behind the left hand side, peeping in and out at intermittent moments to make sure your enemies don't get close enough to put you out in the open and riddled with bullets. You can do this for the entire sequence while making sure you navigate your way carefully behind the moving cover and taking out the henchman until the plane catches fire, and... Bam, the plane is punctured and everything begins getting sucked out. Now the only thing you can do during this entire sequence is just witness the destruction around you until you yourself... 
get sucked out of the plane. But conveniently, we see a falling crate in the distance edging closer and closer as we make our mark speed zoomage through the high skies toward it. We slam into it and keep tapping on the triangle button to eject the parachute and hang on for dear life as the parachute ejects. We stabilize and speed and begin our slow safe crawl down to the ground as we see the fruits of our labor crashed in a fiery debris in the distance with 30 dead henchmen spread all over the Rubalkali desert. Which brings us back full circle to where we started my friends and ends chapter 17 of Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception and this episode of The Dark Let's Play Fun Time. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like and leave feedback in the comments section. If you guys like this approach or have any criticism to say about it, please do speak up. It all helps us get better content out to you guys more quickly and more polished. So far, this is just a trial to dip our toes into some new territory and get more entertaining content out to everyone who watches our channel. And if you'd like to see us become a regular series, let us know that as well. Just for now, this is Rage Leopard from the Dark Podcast signing off. We'll catch you again soon.